Hello, Angela here. I have some pretty exciting news for myself. I found my investor. And remember, it takes one person to believe in you. You can present yourself in front of a thousand people and it only takes that one person to give you all the money you need. And since this is my first deal, I'll be doing a 70-30 profit split. You have to be a little generous when you want to do a deal and you want to spend someone else's money and in exchange for that profit split i got my interest rate very very low i got it down to 4.3 percent that's pretty nice for me when i have to also have money for working capital and any unexpected bills and expenses that i need to pay i'm pretty excited and my financial partner is also a beauty expert that I'll have on my team. So any questions I have, I'm pretty sure she <laughs> could help me just a little bit on my way. That's nice to have a partner you can work with and, and talk to. So you're not all alone in this. It's pretty exciting. And yeah, never give up. I sure won't. My first big... Flash will definitely not throw me away. I want to be in the top one that can say, oh, I did it. So keep going. Keep going and uh, celebrate with me after we get this. My next step will be my lease application. I'm getting all my paperwork ready and I'm just ready to send it off. It's pretty nerve wracking. This was where my first deal fell through. <laughs> so I can only cross the both of my fingers and hope for the best. I'm ready this time. I am ready to get my beauty business and yeah, I have a good feeling about this and this should be happening. So in my next video, hopefully I can say that I got approved. Let's see about that. You never celebrate until the deal's done, like Jason always say, and, uh, <laughs> and I know why now. <sighs> Let's cross our fingers, and my financial partner is actually using her 401k to invest in me. I'll have Jason explain why that makes sense in this case. All right, so Angela wanted me to come here for a minute and talk about the 401k, or really, you could also put the Roth IRA or a traditional IRA uh, account, you could put all of those into this conversation. What this really is, is how to utilize uh, investors uh, retirement account to invest in a potential deal that you're putting forth that you're uh, leading the way Angela is with her deal and the way I've done with my deals. And really the punchline is, is depending on whether it's a 401k versus an IRA versus a Roth IRA and speak to a specialist about the nuance of each of these different types of retirement accounts. But the punchline is an individual who puts money into a Roth IRA, into an IRA or into a 401k cannot get that money into their own hands without paying a lot of taxes on that money until they're either 59 or 62 years old, I believe are the ages. And so what this really means is individuals have to keep their monies in the IRA or in the 401k until they hit that, that cutoff date, that age in their life for them to really be able to use that money however they want. So up until that age point, individuals who have monies in their IRAs or their 401ks or their Roth IRAs, they need to keep their money in investments. And so what you basically do as, you know, as Angela's done is you provide somebody with money in an IRA or a 401k with a great deal and say, hey, here's the deal. Here's what I'm offering you. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I need you for. Let's make a deal. And if you do something like what Angela did, where she found a really nice business at a really quite affordable price, um, and it's the kind of business that her investor, who's also acting as her industry expert, is the kind of business that uh, that individual has a lot of experience with. It's the kind of business Angela wants. And so it's a really nice overlap where they both want the same kind of a business. Angela's investor here doesn't have time to run it, not even close. She has a full-time job and, and you know works 50, 60, 70 hours a week. So you know makes a, a good living, makes a high income, wants to get return on her capital, doesn't have time to go run businesses herself. 
Uh, so she's giving Angela a check and saying, hey, I want a low interest debt repayment of the capital, and then I want to participate in the per in, in the profit of the business. And, and Angela was, was in agreement in doing that deal. And so it's a win-win. Yeah. And I mean, you could argue that, that one party's getting a better deal or the other. For the investor side, it's both a debt instrument and it has a profit sharing component for Angela. She's basically doing a deal without using her own money. And I would say, honestly, it's a win for the both of them. Yeah. But in any event, the, the way you, you do a deal like this is you basically have to have a, a qualified account that you move the IRA or the 401k or the Roth IRA. Those monies that you have in that retirement account, they have to go into what is called a qualified account. Uh, the qualified account that I always recommend people use is uh, called Quest Trust. I believe they're out of Houston, Texas. And it takes several weeks for you to move the money from your 401k to Quest Trust. And then from there, you use the monies that are in Quest Trust or another qualified account vehicle. And then from there, it gets loaned uh, or given or placed into, into, the acquisition, uh, into the acquisition vehicle, which for Angela is going to be an LLC that she's forming that, you know, the monies will go to that LLC and then the LLC will buy the business. Um, and then Angela, when she makes her loan payment, will pay the qualified account that is sitting at Quest Trust that is owned by uh, the investor who will then be able to access those funds once she hits, I think it's 62 years old. Yeah. So that's basically how it works. You can reach out to the folks at Quest Trust uh, in Houston, Texas for more. I'm not being paid to say this. It's just... Uh, it's actually a recommendation that was made to me by uh, an advisor I have with Brighter Living, somebody that uh, that I've worked with for a couple of years. And so when Angela was looking for capital, I, it, I I told her to make it known to the investors and to the lenders and to the people that she was talking to, especially if it was going to be a private lender, more of an individual investor, like what you know with what she's doing here. I told her, hey, make sure you you talk about uh, the fact that these people can use their IRAs, can use their four hundred one ks, can use their Roth IRAs. And in many cases, you know, these these people that have these investment accounts, they're not getting great returns on their capital uh, in their accounts, you know, when, when when somebody like you shows up. And so if you show up and, and provide them a better opportunity to get a higher rate of return on their capital, it's something that that a lot of people will consider. And Angela is uh, is showing that with what she's doing. So it, it is something you can get done. All right. So that's basically all I have to get. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Angela's channel. All right. And uh, by all means, come on over and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want as well. Uh, you can search my name, Jason Paul Rogers. And But again, be sure to subscribe to Angela's channel. And uh, I'm really excited to see her hopefully get this deal done. 